Hi, this is Parthapati Musina, Legal Intern in Lexus and Company. Today I will be talking about topic murder. Last time I talked about culprit murder, today I will be talking about murder. Murder is under section 300 of IPC. Culprit, culprit homicide is genus and murder is its species. So, all murders are culpable homicide, but all culpable homicide are not murders. Under section 300 of IPC, culpable homicide is considered as, as, as if suppose the act is committed with an intention to cause death. The act is done with intention of causing bad, badly injury which the defender has knowledge it would result in death so in this case culpable homicide can be considered as 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 murder now i want to talk some ingredient ingredients of murder causing death this would be an intention of causing death doing an act there should be an intention to cause bodily injury that is likely to cause death the act must be done with the knowledge that the act is likely to cause the death of another now to say some illustrations of murder suppose a shoots w with the intention of killing him as a result w dies in that consequence murder is committed by a second illustration i am to say d intentionally gives a sword cut to R that was sufficient to cause the death of anyone in the ordinary course of nature. As a consequence, R dies. Here D is the guilty of murder through he did, didn't intend to cause R's death. Now to say about punishment of murder. Punishment of murder is under section 302 of IPC. Now to say there is some attempt to murder. Attempt to murder is under section 307 of IPC. Section 307 of IPC says about whoever commits an act with an intention or knowledge and under such circumstances that causes the death of the person would be re held guilty of murder and shall be punished with imprisonment of a term that can extend up to 10 years. And shall be liable and if that act causes a hurt to a person the offender shall be liable to imprisonment for life or such punishment as decided by court of law now I want to say about punishment for murder by life con convict which, which says under section 303 of IPC Life convict is a person who is found guilty of a crime and is sentenced to life imprisonment by the court. Section 303 provides that if any person commits murder who is sentenced to life imprisonment shall be punishable to death. Section 303 is only applicable to the person who is convicted under section 2 only read with section 34 or section 302. Under under it with section 149 section 303 makes capital punishment necessary for the person who is convicted for life in imprisonment commits murder now to talk some cases of um, some landmark judgments one case i'll talk about jagmohan singh versus state of uttar pradesh 1972 in this case there was a murder which came after the amendment of crpc in 1973 where the death penalty was no longer a mandatory sentence for murder and it becomes subject to the discretion of the court the arguments were raised regarding the constitutionality of a death penalty it was on the ground that a wide discretionary power vested with the courts as there were no guidelines or standards it was held that it is it it violated sorry it violated article 14 article 19 and article 21 
सो थैंक यू इफ यू लाइक देन लाइक एंड लाइक एंड कॉमेंट इफ यू हैव एनी फीडबैक देन यू कैन गिव सो दैट आई कैन ट्राई बेस्ट मो थैंक यू